Hi everyone, Julia from Green Umbrella, social media for business. Now today's tutorial is going to be a bit longer uh, than my normal tutorials as I'm going to show you a tactic on how to upload your information to Facebook, Twitter and LinkedIn. I'm not going to do Google Plus because Google Plus is a completely different video all on its own um, but from the database that you already have. Okay, So I'm just going to do it in step by step tuition. So the first step is to prepare your spreadsheet. Okay, So this is one I made earlier. Okay, so first of all, is you just need um, a column. You don't need any other information. All you need is your email addresses. So just upload your email addresses into a spreadsheet um, on Microsoft Excel or just a normal CSV file. And then the next stage is to create three columns. So we're going to go Twitter, Facebook, and LinkedIn. Okay, so that's step one: is to prepare your spreadsheet. Okay, step two. What I want to do is I'm going to work on Twitter first. But the key thing is to you should never upload more than 50 at any one time. So no more than 50 uh, connections at any one time because the last thing you want to be done is you know say it as spam. Um, so that's the first thing we're going to do. So let me do, just do Twitter first. So we're going to click on the first 50. So we're going to come down to number 50. Actually, I'll come down to 51 because it starts at number two. Uh, I'm going to click and I'm going to copy. Okay, so the first column I'm going to work on is Twitter. So we're going to come down here and we're just going to colour this so we don't forget that that's what we've done. Uh, let's come down to 52. I'm going to colour that yellow. Okay, and then the very last one we put in today's date. So we'll go 15th of June 2014. Okay, so we know everybody above that up until the previous date is going to be 15th of June and we've sent it to Twitter but let's send it to Twitter now okay so we're going to go on to Twitter okay the first thing we want to do is click on discover okay and then we want to find friends okay and all you have to do is invite friends via email this is not you following these people. This is Twitter, just sending them an invitation saying, come and like me on, on Twitter. So I'm going to paste that 50 in. Now this is the pain in the rear end, is that you really have to go up to the top of your 50. Okay, and it won't work unless you've got a comma next to it. So I'm just going to put a comma in against every single... Okay, actually I'm just going to do that. I'm not going to do all of these now, but anyway, you go down your 50 and then you simply click invite friends. Okay, so we let six of your contacts know that I'm on Twitter. So that's step one is um, creating your spreadsheet. Step two is select your first 50. Now what you don't want to do is then invite the same people to Facebook and then the same people again to LinkedIn. You want to do this in stages, okay? So the next stage is we're going to invite the next lot of 50 people because we so we're going to go from here. So 50 down to let's just say 100 and we'll just keep it nice and easy. Down to line 100. So we're going to copy these. Okay, and then we're going to do Facebook. I'm going to go there all the way down to number 100. I'm going to do that column as yellow, and on the very last one, we're going to put the date in, 15th of June, 2014. Let's make this column a little bit bigger. Okay, so we're now going to invite the next lot of 50 people on my spreadsheet to Facebook. All right. Now, Facebook, there are two ways that you can invite people to Facebook. You can invite people to like you as a friend, and then once they have liked you as a friend, you can feed those people into your Facebook page. That's more effective than any other means. Uh, but you can also invite people directly um, from Facebook page and just send them an invitation so it goes into their email to say come and like our page and that is quite effective. Okay so let me show you those two um, situations. So the first one is how to invite 
personal people to like you as a friend. Okay, so we're going to like, invite a load of people to like you as a friend. Um, the first tip that I need to give you though is you can only send out a maximum or you can only connect on a personal level a maximum of 5,000 people, which I know sounds like a lot of people, but believe you me, you soon get up to that 5,000 people. So, you yeah, know, you are sort of limited on this, but let me show you how to invite people um, to inv um, connect with you on Facebook. So the first thing we're going to do is go right to the top and we're going to go on facebook.com slash invite dot php so that's facebook.com slash invite dot php just press enter and you get this really nice little area where you can send your invitation so your 50 your next set of 50 that you've done from your spreadsheet you just want to paste in there okay and again you need to do the commas so you need to make sure that you've got commas so you need to put your commas in once you've done your commas um, you can send a message Hi there, um, you know, please hopefully you'll accept my friend request. Um, I appreciate that not everybody likes to connect with Facebook because some people just use it for a personal level. Um, therefore, you know, please head on over to my page. One thing you can't do is in this message, you're not allowed to send any links at all. So you have to be a bit clever about how you're going to word that. Uh, but then you just click invite your friends and all those people will not only just get a standard friend request that comes up on Facebook but they'll also get that nice little message that you've personalized as well okay so once they've done that you can then use the build audience function in Facebook to invite your friends I'll quickly show you how to do that so if you go onto your business page and you've noticed how I'm not switching because I need to stay in as Julia so I'm going to go to my business page I'm going to use the build audience function and I'm going to invite friends. Okay, and you just go down and the ones that you have, just like Cheryl, if I just invite her. And those new people that have just connected with you, it will tell you whether they've liked the page or not. So on a Friday, do fan up Friday and just build those people, feed those people into your page. That's option number one. Um, but some people don't like using their personal profiles, so let's just do it from the business page just to send out some invitations. Okay, so this time you do need to switch, so I'm going to go switch, so I'm going to go green umbrella. So I'll put my green umbrella hat on, so my business page hat. I'm going to go and build audience function. And I'm going to import contacts. Okay, now what I want to do is upload a contact list file. So I'm going to go import invite contacts. Okay, and what I need to do um, is the 50 people that I've selected, say, that are on my spreadsheet. Where's my other spreadsheet gone? There it is. So the next 50 people, I want to create um, an independent spreadsheet just for those 50, which I've done here. Okay, now the important thing is it needs to be a CSV file. So even though you've done it in Microsoft Excel, when you save it, so we'll go File, Save As, you need to report it or save it, it will save it as an Excel spreadsheet, you need to report it as a CSV, so Comma Separated Values File. So save it as there. I'm just going to save this on my desktop and it's called FB50, so that's my first 50. I'm going to click Save. I already did this earlier, so that's fine. Okay, so back on Facebook, I'm then going to um, choose my file. Um, and this is the right one, so it's CSV50, which is a CSV file, so I'm going to double click. Okay, <laughs> I already did this earlier, and that's why I say you're not allowed to do more than 50 at a time, otherwise, you get blocked. So, I'm not blocked, I'm blocked until tomorrow now for uploading anymore because I was doing this earlier. So, it must be a CSV file, and then you just click send, and it goes. It will send out those invitations um, to those people on your spreadsheet. Okay, so that's how you upload a file to Facebook from your database and um, just to invite people over. Okay, that's the next one. Uh, and the last one is how to import contacts on LinkedIn. So, 
let me just talk you through this. Um, you click on connections, come down to add connections. I'm going to whiz across here to any email on LinkedIn. Okay, again, we can um, invite by individual email. And I must say, you need to be very, very careful as well with LinkedIn if you're sending out requests. You actually only have a maximum of 3,000 invitations you can send. Once you've hit that 3,000 invitations, that's it. You're done. You can't send any more invitations. So um, doing it this way and blitzing it with your database is probably not as effective as it is on the other platforms. But if you wanted to do that way, then you can. You can paste in your 50. Again, you need to put in your commas and let you just send invitation. The naff thing about LinkedIn is you don't get a, an opportunity to send a personal message. Um, and it's just not as effective. Okay. One way that has been effective to get people onto the company page on LinkedIn is to do an email marketing campaign. I'll show you oops, what we do on Green Umbrella. Um, we've got some email campaigns that we've sent out for some clients. Um, I'll quickly show you this. There's one we did for um, TSL recruitment. Hopefully they'll say this is okay to go on a video. Uh, but we literally just sent their database at this email, which just looks really nice. Uh, the amount of followers that they had on their page immediately after that was really, really effective. So just doing that, say once every three months, just hitting your database with an email, just purely for LinkedIn, that works really well. So people will click there, go to the LinkedIn page and just follow. So that's the step process for uh, liking people in Facebook, LinkedIn and Twitter. So your third one, you would then go down and you do your third column and your next 50 people. Copy. And we'll do the next 50 people just down to here. And then we would yellow that and say that we've sent that 50 people an invitation to LinkedIn. And we did that on the 15th of June. We'll start saving this. Okay. So then the next week, you will take that first 50 people and you'll invite them to Facebook. And the second 50 people, you'll invite them into LinkedIn. And the third 50 people you invite them into Twitter. But the object is all of this will be coloured in after a period of time. Anyway, sorry it's a bit of a longer video than normal, but I really hope that helps. Please, if you've got any questions, because I know this is, takes a little bit to get your head round, then just pop it in the comments below and uh, I'll answer them no problems at all. So give me a shout. It's Julia from Green Umbrella signing out for today. See you soon. Take care. Bye-bye.